Hello everyone and welcome back to uh welcome back to Radiant Arc. Um hold on one second. Go. Alright. So um I grinded everyone up to at least level six. Um now I was um I was grinding on like the mountain between here and um the Fayal town. And as I was doing so, I got a um I got a bit of a message from uh from the um from the dev who told me something kind of interesting about this game. I think this is really good design as well. So, um, you might have noticed uh, that enemies don't really give you that much experience when you defeat them, and the reason why is because bosses give you so much more experience. And the reason why this is, is to disincentivize grinding. Because, like, the dev wants you to spend a lot of your time exploring and fighting bosses as opposed to just fighting the same enemies over and over again. That is really creative design. I really like that a lot. I mean, that probably won't stop me from grinding, but um, <laughs> I really like that sort of a, that sort of game design right there. Um, anyway, I know we're still under leveled for it, but I decided that I want to try doing the Mist Cave before we do the Undead Cave, um, because we have a fourth party member now, and I feel like her alone will make this a lot easier to do, even if I'm not necessarily the um, the recommended level for it. But yeah. All right, let's go ahead and start this. I just want to see like how strong these monsters are compared to everyone's in the back row. Um, can I run? How do I run again? Do you not run from battles? Interesting. Um. Oh, oops. Um, I still have the sword equipped on her. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. I gotta, I gotta fix a couple things, um, use that, and then you can, um, we're right next to a save point, so there's really no incentive to not, um, to not play around with these sorts of things. Whoa! Oh, that did a lot. Frog with wings. Vamphibian. I really like that name. <laughs> I think it's the first time we've seen an enemy dodge. Interesting. Of course, it hits eight times. <laughs> Dang, I should have come here to grind. <laughs> Dark Star enemy looks like that, um... Oh, dang, do you remember those, like, mechanical, um, starfish from, uh... Uh, from Metropolis Zone in Sonic 2? It kind of reminds me of those for some reason. Alright, cool. Alright, let's go ahead and get our equipment ready for this, and then we'll start this place proper. I put the bow back on, and also fix the rose as well. There we go. Oh, ah. Where are the fish enemies? Come on! 
Oh, ah. Dang it. Oh, that was easy. Um, what are these? I might have to fight you. Oh, nope. Can I jump across these? Oh, I can! Hmm. Okay, so we got some Golden Sun style puzzles. Oh! What? Okay, I have to say, I don't think it's 100% clear what you can and can't jump on, because, like, these are one block apart. But that's two block apart. Like, there's a little bit of an inconsistency there, just saying. Unless, like, you're jumping straight down, if that's what's supposed to be happening. Yeah, and then you have moments like these. Like, why can I jump from here all the way down to here, but I can't jump there? And why can I do like, that jump? Huh. That's a little weird, to be honest. <laughs> Power bow! Oh, yes! Yes! A new bow for, uh, for Lexi. Very nice. 20% armor penetration. That's really good. Uh. <laughs> yes, thanks, game. <laughs> And I have to go around again. Earth key. Okay, so we have keys in this dungeon. How do I get back? That's my question. I can't just jump down from here. Can't jump across there. Oh, I just go back the way I came. Okay. That's a door? Hmm. Bit too tight to fit through. Steel necklace. That increases magical attack. Um... Yeah, sure.
height shield. A large shield shaped like a kite, suitable for defense against all sorts of attacks, increases defense by 10%. Um, I like the more magic stuff on you, but... Okay, you can't equip a shield. Two less agility, but honestly, I think the stats he gives you are worth it. Yeah, we'll give that to you. Oh! Oh, that's good. Okay, I thought the game was going to kind of softlock you if you tried to jump where an enemy was standing. I do need that enemy to move, though. Thank you. button. Oh, that like drained the cave. Okay. Oh, and that revealed chest too. Nice. Oh, okay. That reflected damage. Okay, so that's what that does. Oh, that armor thing. Okay, I have to be careful with her. Um, I think these two can just attack normally and defeat him. You defend. There we go. Oh, and Arya leveled up. Okay, cool. Let's heal up real quick, too. Um... Restores a lot of health. Like, I really like that move. Oh, you have seven now. Do you have group hits? No, it looks like you just have, like, a strong version of, um... Oh, no, Thunderstorm we unlock next. I'm assuming that's a group hit. That requires two. And that requires 50. Wow. Let me unlock Lionel. Can... <laughs> wow, you know you have a strong lightning move when it can burn a target? <laughs> I think a scald from Pokemon. You don't really have a reliable way to heal yourself, so I'm gonna. Oh wait, we can learn Flare, dude. Let's do that. Then we have Power Flare, and that's all the ability points you have. Okay. You don't have enough magic to use that, but uh, we can absorb magic. So, can I get to a battle from the? Yes, I can. I want to try this out. I really do. Oh, this is annoying. Um, Okay, um, special, wait, no. Let's see how well this does. I think you have magic.
Whoa, that's like basically a full mana heal. That looked dangerous, whatever that did. Um, okay. Oh, Bomb Shot is a special move, okay. back. Okay, let's see what this is like. That hits everyone. That takes a while to cast too, but I'm assuming it's worth it. Uh, just do a normal kick, just in case. I'm gonna save when I leave this room again. It's because I want my health back. Wow, that is pretty worth it. I'm assuming that damage doesn't spread out either, so that's just, like, really good for group hits. Although, that does use most of her magic, so... Not most of it, but, like, over half, so she can't clearly can't use it again. Now, does the water key allow me to enter that room? Oh, yes it does. Maybe I needed both of them. <laughs> oh, and here's the boss. Let's go ahead and try it. So we have a crab and, like, a big lobster. Um, okay. These look like physical attackers. Let's go ahead and use... Yeah, okay. Um... my question. We have Light Bolt, Shock, and Thunderstorm. This hits all users, however, I'm kind of curious if this, like, does more damage but to a single target. I don't have, like, a power number on it. I'm just gonna assume that is what the case is. Till further, I mean, I can cast it more than once without having to recharge mana, so I think it's worth it regardless. That thing has a lot of health. Well, he wounded it, at least. I didn't really do too much. That did confuse him, though. Uh, oh my god! Okay, yeah, we should be using that more. <laughs> my guess is me. I, I want to try something. Maybe you just have, like, bad magical defense. Oh no. Ah! Yeah, I think you just have bad magical defense. Oh, okay. Use this on yourself. Oh, that is a cooldown! Sure, Sting. Oh, might as well screen nuke. <laughs> Yeah, that does- okay, that does confirm my suspicion. Um, the other dam- uh, the other, uh, strong lightning spell, it does more damage, it just doesn't hit everything. Might as well use this if you have bad magical defense.
Nice. Dang, I kind of broke that boss. <laughs> well, there we are. Yeah, see, look how much experience we got from those guys compared to the normal enemies. <laughs> That's a really clever way to design, uh, to de-incentivize grinding. Little elixir, stat books, skill points. Stat books and the treasure. A king of deep crowns. Probably better than what you have on now. Mystical Crown Amplifying Water Damage by 50%. User Retrieves 50% less water damage. Not the craziest thing, but it's better than what she has on right now, so let's just go ahead and use that. Alright, cool. Oh, ah. Oh, I also noticed this too when I was grinding on the mountain earlier. Um, the enemies are replaced by these werewolves because it's nighttime now, and the werewolves are fast. Oh, that's what pushed me back, okay. Why not? <laughs> oh, and she leveled up too. I feel like I should wait until daytime or go to the inn, but I don't really think the um I don't really think it's that dangerous out here to be honest. Are there more enemies, too? It kind of feels like that is the case. Oh, here we are. Hmm. Before we go in, let's go ahead and check our um, ability and see if we can learn anything new. Six ability points. That's good. Alright, what we got? Ooh. Ooh. Yo. Yo, I'm getting that. Um, let's expose. Sure. You don't get light magic. Oh, no, you did, but, like... You have six now. That's just a normal attack that uses magic damage. I I can't wait to get that. <laughs> it sounds so broken. Let's just get both of those. Uh, for you. doesn't feel worth it. Hmm. Why not? Then nothing costs one, so... Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and save. Then I think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, next time... Ooh, it's daytime now. Um, next time we will start this... Uh, we'll start this dungeon proper. I'll see you folks then. Thanks for watching.